Hello everyone, <coughs> I'm Rafael and today I'm going to do a test, a very interesting test for the, all of those working with uh, uh, producer markers. Uh, the basic idea is which is the best type of corner we can get, we can use to have a good estimation of the corner when we are using uh, sub-pixel accuracy. Well, the basic thing is that uh, you have two basic approaches. Uh, in this uh, image, we're going to see a couple of uh, markers. The left one uh, is a typical marker we normally use. The right one is the marker in which uh, we are setting these uh, additional uh, squares so that the corner uh, is uh, in, uh, enclosed. Okay, the corners here are enclosed. Most people think that uh, this type of corners here obtain very precision when we are using the OpenCV uh, subpixel. So today we're going to try to see if this is true. We're going to try to see if this one here on the left gets better results than the other one or it's the other way around. Okay, let's go. Okay, to do so we have uh, <coughs> we have designed a very simple experiment. We have the two markers there and we are going to record them with a normal camera. <clears throat> and we are going to use the market detector to automatically find uh, the corners and then we are using subpixel uh, estimation to refine the corner. We're going to do the following measure. We're going to take for each corner the average position estimated, okay? And then we're going to analyze the deviation, okay, from the center. This deviation is a measure of the error. I mean, how much in each... Uh, uh, frame, uh, the estimation uh, goes apart from the average. Okay, so this is going to be our error estimation. Uh, we are going to make this uh, experiment in different at different uh, distances from the from the markers, so that we can compare the results. Okay, so for this we are going to do the following. I have created a small program that is going to record this in a video and it's going to show this line. Okay, let's start with the first test. Here we have the first marker here and the second marker here. Okay, and here we can see the error in the estimation of the corner of each one of the methods. Okay, so right now in this particular experiment it's winning uh, marker one. Okay, but the differences are very small. Okay, so we are going to run this, this experiment several times. Uh, for its configuration, and we will see that the results are gonna be a bit, a bit different. Okay, so in this table here, I'm gonna write down the results. Okay, so this is the first test. Okay, we have here now the results, so let's run the test again. Let's go. Okay, here the results seems much lower in both cases. But again, it seems that from this position, this particular position, frame one is winning. Sorry, uh, marker one is winning. It's a moment to know which method is better. So to do so, uh, we're gonna use a Freeman test. It's a rank test in which uh, we're gonna take the errors of the methods and it's gonna compute if there are uh, differences between the two methods and if they are so, which is the best one. So for, those, for that, we have used this online uh, web page in which uh, it requires us not to use more than two decimals, so I have multiplied the results from the spreadsheet we have been computing so far here, multiplied by this uh, 100,000. 100, so in this, we get the errors in a different scale, but it's the same, okay? So here we play the result of the first method, which is uh, marker zero, which is the enclosed markers, okay? And here we set results of 
the other one, the one which is not enclosed, okay? Uh, to see which one is the better. Okay, so let's see the results here. Well, here we have the runs, it means which is the winner in each one of the tests we have done. So in each test we have our winner. So interesting here is this, which is the average error of uh, each method, and we see that uh, Markov zero has a slightly smaller error in average, okay? But the, the, the point is not the average, it's, uh, it's in general, uh, if we compare all the methods, are really different or they uh, similar? So the Freeman test which, uh, says that the results, the differences we see are not significant, okay? We see using a confidence of 0.01, it means that uh, uh, there is a 99% of confidence in the results of this, uh, of this uh, test, okay? It means that uh, with the data we have, we cannot say that one method is better than the other. So that is my conclusion for today. Thank you for watching.